Hi, I'm Kevin from Ico Solar. We're showcasing our all back contact technology, which is the latest uh, product range in the Harold's PV module um, range. So, what we have is our all back contact. So, all the front side of the solar cell is clear, and all the electrical contacts are on the back side of the cell. So, what this does is it gives us some technical benefits, uh, most notably the what we call the partial shading optimization. So come with me and I'll show the demonstration over here. Here we have the ICO all back contact technology. So we have the solar module here and then we have a standard Topcon solar module. We have an artificial light here which shines um, light on the module and it generates uh, electricity so that we can drive these uh, water pumps here. As I do the shading on the solar panel, you'll see how the water flow in the, the pumps changes. So first of all, we're going to shade the bottom half of the module. And you can see how the flow rate of the pumps has changed. If we move and shade both parts of the solar panel, you can see how the ICO module is still performing, while as the conventional Topcon module has zero production. So that's just a basic demonstration of the partial shading optimization with uh, ICO All Back Contact technology. What I'm going to do in this demonstration is we're going to have a look at the different cell structure of the ICO All Back Contact technology compared to the conventional uh, Topcon technology. And in this demonstration, I'll place the cell underneath this uh, device. It's a two kilogram weight with some fingers on the bottom. And we're going to see how the ICO All Back Contact technology has better um, resistance to, to micro cracking. We're looking at the strength of the solar cells. So in the first one, we've got the conventional uh, crystalline silicon solar cell with the electrical connections on both sides. I'm going to place the solar cell in the device. Now I'm going to release the weight and we see what um, happens when the weight hits the crystalline silicon solar cell. So now that I've lifted the weight of the, the, the cell, you can see how the weight has cracked the, the conventional crystalline silicon solar cell. What I'm going to do now is we've got the ICO all back contact technology so you can see there's no bus bars on the front side of the solar cell and on the back side we have got our copper um, electrical connections on the back side which gives us some advantage with regard to mechanical strength. So now I'm going to repeat the test with our um, ICO cell and we're going to compare the difference uh, what happens when we drop the weight on, on the cell. We have now in the comparative test, the results show that the ICO cell is only damaged at the impact points where the weight has dropped on the solar cell. So once again, it's just demonstrating the resilience and strength of the solar cell and it shows the, how the cell is less susceptible to microcracking.